Yeah, yeah. 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 that looks yeah. like yeah. about it. Hey guys, welcome back to YouTube guys. I'm so excited to show you off this new Rookie Rush deck that is all new for BT6. Now we'll get into it. So while regular Rookie Rush decks see a yellow-green core, this one is a yellow-red core. This is all kicked off by the 4 Demi Miramon. It has the effect, has the inherent effect where when you attack the player, it gains 1k. This is super good for when you have 5k attacking dudes or your 6k attacking dudes when you evolve for one cost um, your champions. Because they'll go to 7k and 6k, where we've hit over all your blockers. Absolutely amazing. And the GG mod is also good for mid to late game. When you're hitting through, putting all the things in the trash, they'll also go to 6 or 7k. So, because we've got our red core, we've got quite a lot of red Digimon. Gilmon is a promo that comes with uh, the BT6 set and he is the absolute star of the deck. Draw one card when you attack, like or not even on play, so if he survives the swing, you can swing again next turn and get another draw. Drawing is super important for Rookie Rush, so to see him in a red deck like this just means you absolutely need to shift colors and go into a red rather than a green core. We've also got for Biomon, when it dies on your turn, you'll gain a memory. This is really nice for because a lot of time you're suiciding your dudes and an extra memory just makes it really nice for you to memory trope your opponent or just get an extra player for another guy to put on board. Four of your Monodromon and four of your Biomon. These are the two cost zero cost evolve, two cost hard play zero cost evolve. They are essential for Rookie Rush um, games because the uh, zero cost means it means easier to evolve over your eggs and two cost is really cheap to go into the field and flood the board. Absolutely essential. And Monodromon actually plays another role in another card when I show it up. So I'm just going to put that guy there for a second. We've also got uh, two hard cost Otamamon. He is a 5k beater, so it's really nice to hit into uh, blockers when they're 5k or just run over and potentially survive in the security check. And another one is three of your Warbremon. This will round up the red rookies. So this is a 5k um, over a, uh, on top of a um, baby. So you'll go to 6k when it swings with a, when it swings with a Demi Marimon, which is huge when uh, it's got something underneath compared to um, a Otamon which won't have a baby underneath. So 6k beat up is really really nice. Makes it very easy to live in security and uh, it'll run over uh, lockers if they come up. Um, and most of the time you are evolving in the egg zone because it is a 4 cost hard play, unfortunately. Um, 4 champions for the reds. We've got 4 of the dark cover Otamon. It's a 1 cost evolution, very essential, very standard for uh, Rookie Rush. It gets your um, two cost evolutions like this, turn it from a three into a six. Really nice for beating over guys. On to the yellows. We've got the four Starmon, and four of the Pulsemon, and four of the Darkermon. Twelve of the uh, yellow rookies. Starmon, of course, really nice because when you flood the board, you can hard play it and then potentially kill something five or six K if you've got a lot of dudes. That usually wipes out your blockers and then you can shoot for game next turn. Pulse one's really nice because it a draw one when you have uh, three or more, or game one or a two cost hard play when you have uh, three or less. If you have three, you get both effects, which is really nice. But uh, it's really good to um, turn your yellow uh, options on, as well as draw you more cards, because drawing is essential for rookie rush, because you need to see all your rookies as much as you can, so you can keep flooding the board. And of course, Darkemon, two cost hard play, also good to turn on your option cards for yellow. Onto option cards. For Air of the Dragon. This is really nice for consistency. This is, this is your Pot of Greed, but as well as Pot of Greed, if you have a Monodramon on the field, you can kill some next 4k for an extra effect that's random. Because it's Dramon, you'll get the second effect where you can kill something 4k or less. So that will take out some uh, of your 
um, some champions that they might play at their low cost, it'll kill almost all rookies. And if you pair it up with like a Starmon or a Spiral Mask or a Spiral Masquerade, then you can potentially kill things that are higher DP, which is a really cool interaction. Plus that extra two is really good just to get you more guys so you can flood the board more. This is the box of chaos cards. Mm -hmm. And of course we've got the four Spiral Masquerades. It's really important for to wipe out those troublesome megas, such as Hexablaumon, which is becoming really popular in the BC6 meta. Uh, especially when a lot of your rookies don't have sources, you know, wipe out the Hexablaumon so you can shoot the game when your guys don't have sources and you have a full board. Uh, and then, one Blinding Ray and one Gravity Crush. These are really nice to pump up your memory so you can afford a Spiral Masquerade to potentially kill blockers and not end your turn and then just wipe out the guys when you have a full board. So that wraps up the whole deck. I had a really fun time playing this one. Uh, it's, it's a really interesting deck to see how it contrasts to uh, yellow and green uh, mixes because yellow and green usually prepare for more a score game. This one is 100% aggression. So when you want to go all out and kill your opponent's turn three, this is the deck for you. Also guys, if you want to check out the second action, I played a, I played a game against Tribal Greymon. It should be up on the channel right now. Check it out.